It's an honor and a privilege to address the members of the National Association for Urban Debate League. I know many of you are working through the impacts of global pandemic, COVID-19. Some of you may feel anxious about uncertainties that lie ahead or worry about international order. Some of you may miss milestones and events in your lives, but I know you have what it takes to prevail. You've already proven you're resilient and capable of overcoming obstacles. For that, I'm proud and hopeful for a strong future for all of you. It's in times like these we need to unite and serve as a point of light, be a leader, be poised and ready to help. Most importantly, take the necessary precautions. Although we're not able to gather in person for your gala with the top debaters from across the country, I'd like to take a moment to commend you for being a part of an organization like this, working on ways to improve and become better debaters. For each semester that a student debates, his or her individual grades improve. Urban debaters are significantly more likely to test as college ready on standardized tests in English, reading, science, and math. It's inspiring to see how this organization ignites your passion for learning and empowers you to succeed. Your natural curiosity and love for learning will undoubtedly serve you well now and into the future. There are two people I'd like to recognize for their achievements. The 2020 Debater of the Year, Olivia Northcutt, from the Dallas Urban Debate Alliance, and this year's Coach of the Year, Jamel Brown, from Debate Kansas City. Congratulations, Jamel and Olivia, on this well-deserved recognition. With that, I'd like to tell you a story about how one enterprising student, just like you, changed the course of history for the United States Air Force and for our nation. More than 40 years ago in Burbank, California, engineers gave birth to stealth technology. When a young engineer by the name of Dennis Oberholzer, who would immerse himself in reading journals, but not just any journal, but technical journals that had been been translated from Russian to English. In those readings, he came upon a math equation for what we now call stealth. He took his ideas to, to the CEO at Skunk Works, Ben Rich, and out of that exchange blossomed what is now known as the F-117 Nighthawk stealth fighter uh, that I was able to fly as the last bandit. It were, if it weren't for the intellectual curiosity of Dennis or the determination of Ben Rich, our nation might not have had these critical capabilities in a time of need. In the words of the father of our Air Force, shortly after World War II ended, the next war may be fought by airplanes with no men or women in them at all. Take everything you've learned about aviation and war and throw it out the window. And let's go work on tomorrow's aviation. It'll be different from anything the world has ever seen. He said that in 1946. I don't know what the next stealth fighter will be or what innovation will give America the leading edge in the next conflict, but I do know that it's in the minds of someone like you, young, innovative, driven individuals, plugging away every day, studying and proving yourselves and working hard, whether in debate or in school. Who knows, it may be you who develops the next big idea to keep America safe for future generations. When you all graduate, and think about your next steps. I want you to know there's a place for each of you in our United States Air Force. We need young people like you on our team. Come join us. Your nation is waiting.